and we are back with Paige Pierce. Paige, got a couple questions for you. First and foremost, you went to Bonnaroo for the first time yeah. recently. Talk to me about that experience and who did you like seeing? Uh, music festivals are uh, like an overwhelming abundance of love and like community. It feels like a disc golf tournament, honestly, but um, everybody is there to be there. They're not looking for the next thing, like what's coming up next? Oh, it's like you are in that present moment and everybody's just so grateful and honored to be there. And so I think that's overall my favorite part. Like, yes, I saw a lot of incredible performances and lots of raw emotion from artists. Um, but I think my favorite part is just how connected you feel to each other. Like you see someone uh, overheating, someone's gonna be the first person to hand you a bag of ice or whatever you need. So it's just that loving feeling, that exchange of like, I help you, you help me, and you totally get that in disc golf. So maybe that's why I love both of them so much. But um, yeah. Now, I heard that at Bonnaroo, you actually got noticed quite a few times by fellow disc golfers, uh, and you talked about how interesting of an experience that is. Can you talk a little bit more about that? You've been playing the game since you were a kid, and here you are outside of the disc golf world getting recognized. Is that an interesting thing? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, you know, it's funny because I'm a human just as everyone that's watching this is, right? But people, uh, it's, it's a weird position to be in as like a famous athlete because I'm like now not a person. I'm like this like icon or it's this, this figure that they watch. And so certain times it hits me and I'm like, ugh, get away from me. Like, please don't call me Paige Pierce. Like I will hug you. I'll probably give you a kiss on the cheek and we can share an ice cream sandwich, but don't call me Paige Pierce. You know, like I'm Paige. And if you say my name Paige, hi Paige with a smile, I'm gonna give you a hug. But so, and I actually had this breakthrough at the festival because somebody, I was in the best mood of all time. I'm like literally like <laughs> dancing and flying and running around catching Frisbees. And someone's like, oh my God, Paige Pierce. And my whole demeanor just changed. And I realized like, I should tell them why mm -hmm. my demeanor changed. So I just said, hey, I'm actually Paige. What's your name? If you want to call me by my first and last name, then you got to tell me your whole name too. And that was just a great turning point for me to, and I think for everyone, you know, it's just like, wow, I don't have to be, I don't have to let that get me down. Yeah. And whatever your thing that gets you down is too, like you have the power to control that. So for me, I had a lot of breakthrough moments and I'm still kind of processing them. And yeah, I, I, I had a great time. So then transitioning here, snapping into focus in athletics, do you think that kind of carried over this this like mental game realization that you had? Is it going to transition into disc golf this week? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, like the the being present thing, I think is the is the biggest one. It's like we can tell ourselves all the time, "Hey, focus on this shot, focus on this shot." But when you're actually just sitting there and you're grateful to to be holding this disc, like, wow, thank you, Steady Ed, you created disc golf. Like, it just it it it. I'm getting like chills right now. Like, it's just a whole other. Men mental capacity that you can have is just like you don't have to be mad that it's 100 degrees you're like wow it's finally summer the first day of summer was yesterday like let's go jump in these beautiful lakes that are so f full right now thank you Paige good yeah, luck this week thank you hey Paige Hayden with PGA you, you know you've taken these kind of little breaks and talked about it a lot throughout the season now that you have like a half a year to kind of sit back and assess mm -hmm. that how has that helped you as a player as a person mentally physically physically to take a little break and unwind and do some page things oh it's been amazing just for myself as a human being you know i'm learning so much about myself every single day and it's it's hard to learn when you don't have time to process when you're when you finish a tournament Sunday, you start driving Monday and then you're practicing Tuesday again, you have no time to work through all of these new thoughts and experiences and these memories. And they just kind of go, go in and come back out. So to take a pause and, and to write in a journal and to, and to express my feelings to my friends and my parents and all these things, like I, I'm, I'm growing so much. I feel like I'm blossoming into uh, a woman that I can be proud of. And, and uh, I, yeah, I think it's absolutely necessary. And, you know, I just challenged quite a few of my competitors to do the same and to take a break. I, Big Germ, I'm going to call you out. You might not ever watch this, but he was just saying like, man, I really wish I didn't have to play this tournament. And I'm like, Germ, you don't. Everything's optional in life. Just don't. If you don't want to play, go chill. 
choices. And so it's it's nice. You know, we all have choices and it's up, up to you to make the decision. Whatever decision you make, stand by it happily. Nice. Great advice as always. Now, what did Paige Pierce, the competitor, think about when she, once you got back on this property and looked around the way it looked, the little changes, getting ready to go for this weekend? Um, I mean, honestly, as a competitor, you don't really know until that moment comes and you have to adapt to whatever wind comes your way. 25 mile an hour, left to right wind. Okay, I'm gonna grab this over Stable Zeus, you know? So you don't really know. Um, you can prep and know what your discs are doing in the wind, but I mean, luckily 2022 has kind of been the year of the wind. So we're, we're well familiar with what the wind's doing to our discs right now. I think uh, at this point, I feel in an advantage because I haven't lost any discs over the last three weeks. So my bag is 100% the bag that I've been working with. Um, and I've seen quite a few of my competitors swimming for their discs. So um, I think it's, it's more just remembering what the course is like, knowing your discs, and then being prepared in that moment to adapt to whatever conditions. And how is the course playing? What can fans expect this week? Um, bring some cooling towels, bring like a little, I got a little Mr. Fan, I would say that. Other than that, just be prepared to watch some incredible shots on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful property. I mean, all the water's super high. There's so many different types of birds. I've seen eight different types of dragonflies. It's like landing right on your arms and stuff. It's, it's truly is a sanctuary, like Kale was saying. All right, we're going to throw it back a little bit. Am Worlds is going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, record field, which we say that every week, every big tournament. Right. Take us back to 2007, your, your <laughs> first AM Worlds. What was what was your, I mean, can you even process what your mindset, emotions were going and competing on a stage that big? Yeah, I remember I played AM Worlds three times. First year was 20, 2007, whoa. Um, and yeah, I went, it was Wisconsin Worlds. Um, I played with Kelsey Brakel, who's still playing to this day. I've seen her occasionally. She got second, but the girl that won was Maureen Higgins, I believe was her name. Uh, oh no, it was Kate, Katie Strauss in 2007. Um, she was a homeschool girl, it was a local track. I thought I was playing really good, but I just could not compete with her. And you know, it, it was a good life lesson for me. Like, okay, let's try again, 2008, it's only a year away, let's go. And unfortunately I didn't win any AM titles in my three attempts, but I got close, third, second, third, I think. Is it crazy to think that was 15 years ago? It's very crazy. It's very, I mean, I know that I've lived that long of a life since then, but I feel like I'm still the same height, same smile, same everything. So, uh, you know, when I see a photo of me from back then, it, it could be today even. But yeah, it's it's been a long journey since then. You know, the grind picks up. I got a major next week, Europe and the Elite Series yep. Pro Tour rolls on. Uh, what's the mentality in the next coming month? Um, I think I just need to now take all of the memories and the rest that I've taken uh, in the beginning of the year and kind of put them in a box and store them up because from this point on I'm in the van. I don't have any more flights for the rest of the year besides Europe and Canada. Um, I'll be in the van the rest of the year and not going home again until November. So I think just to remind myself just because I'm out here doesn't mean I just lock myself in the van every once in a while when I need to refresh and it, I know my friends are right outside but shut the door keep time to yourself that's a sacred place and you know that's going to be key to to having success later in the year when it, we're just picking up more and more all right that's Paige Pierce here Paige Pierce here at the preserve we'll be right back thank you